One of the unique features of Zara Web Designer is the ability to create websites where text flows around shapes or photos. Web Designer can repel text around any object or shape. You don't have to change the text or the text frame in any way. I'll drag and drop this PNG image that has a transparency. This is not repelling. You can see if I drag it around the page, the text goes under it. The image has transparent parts around the outside of the main photo. To make the text flow around it, right-click, select the Repel Text Under and choose a margin value, maybe 5 pixels. Now as I drag this over my text, it repels around the opaque parts of the graphic or image. This works, as you can see here, on transparent PNG images as well as photos and graphic objects of any shape. But note, this only works if the repelling object is on top. I'll show you. If I put this behind the text, select Arrange, move backwards, so the photo is now behind the text. Even though this is set to repel, the text now flows on top of the image. Selecting Arrange, bring to front, and this will restore the text repelling. A second point to remember is that this repels flowing text in columns and text boxes. It doesn't repel simple single line text, such as this heading for example. Now I'll add a shadow. I select the shadow tool and just drag on any object. You can see this increases the size of the object and thus the repelling area. I can move the shadow by just dragging on it, like this. Finally, I'll show you how to colour photos. With the object selected, note the status line tells you what is selected, you can click on any colour, in this case, Theme 1. And there are two new menu options for photos, to select the light or dark contone colours. Contone images are like black and white, except you control the two colours. If I set the contone light colour, the photo now takes on this theme colour. This theme is quite dark, so what I really want is a pale shade of this theme colour. I can do this easily by opening the colour editor, press Ctrl E, or this small icon here. The colour editor shows light contone, and if I drag here I can select a shade. This very pale version will do. What I really want is that when I edit the main theme colour 1, that this shade changes as well. To do this, Open the expanded control and then select Shade of another colour from this drop down. Now I can select the parent, that is the colour this shade is tied to. In this case, it's already selected as Theme 1. That's it. Now, when I change Theme Colour 1, this photo is always a pale shade of whatever colour I choose. And finally, Preview this to check the final website is as I want it.